What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be going over some new baits that we got for the 2019 season. We're going to be going over gear maintenance, tackle maintenance, boat maintenance, getting everything ready because in just a few short weeks we pick back up with musky trips and it's going to be crazy for the next several months. We got a lot of people coming to fish with us this year and our tackles got to be up for the task. So stay tuned and check out some of these new baits we got for the 2019 season. I want to show y'all is the TNA Tackle Angry Dragon. Now we got a bunch of these baits in this spring and we threw them and moved a ton of fish, caught a couple on them, but they are really loud, really aggressive baits. So a lot of people think of uh, the summer season up north and in Virginia as bucktail season and that's right, when the water is warmer the fish are wanting to chase more. They're, they're eating faster moving baits and their metabolism's running so they're chasing really loud, really frantic and fast baits. These angry dragons are second to none as far as putting some noise in the water and burning something back to the boat. And we're gonna do a lot of damage with these angry dragons this year. Now we've got a couple different sizes to choose from. We've got, this is the largest size they make with the flash of blue. And of course it's got a nice long grub tail on there. Really big chatter blade, makes a ton of noise. So we got a couple of the really large ones, but sometimes it's the smaller ones that do the trick, especially with a finicky muskie. Downsize a little bit, it puts out a little less vibration, but uh, it's the size that matters. And if y'all have watched my videos, you know I'm a firm believer in double eights. I don't throw double tens or elevens or anything big. I like the double or single eight uh, bucktails, and that's just because of the size profile. It, I think the size of a bait like this is just about perfect for around here and I do really well with medium sized bucktails and chatterbaits. So we've got some of these angry dragons in this size and man that thing right there with the orange and black that is a killer pattern. We also have some even smaller, okay this is the micro angry dragon, um, maybe four or five inches in length, it's got a smaller blade so a little less noise, uh, but some of those finicky fish at the end of summer, you know, they're just starting to move back into the main pools. That small angry dragon could do the trick. So I'm gonna pack lots of these angry dragons in the box uh, and let's move on to the next bait. So there's definitely those days in the winter where the fish are munching on big rubber baits. That being said, I picked up a couple new big rubber baits to try out this year. First up, we've got the catfish baits by Ryan Painter. Now this guy doesn't have baits for sale on any websites. He just custom makes them for individuals. And let me tell you what, he did something right with these baits. They are killer. I threw one around the other day in the pond just to see what the action looked like. And man, these things run straight, they run true, they don't sink very fast. So they're perfect for the rivers here in Virginia. And they are just gorgeous. Something unique that the fish haven't seen. Also, there's a guy out of West Virginia by the name Mike Wolfel that makes these hellbenders. Now, for anyone that doesn't know what a hellbender is, it's North America's largest salamander species, and they are in the rivers that the muskie inhabit. So it's not outlandish to think that the muskies are feeding on these big salamanders. <clears throat> so Mike went and made a big soft plastic, kind of replicating the hellbender salamander, and we've got them in several different colors here. Um, Last year we did throw these a little bit and we did pretty well with them so I'm expecting similar outcome this year and so I really stocked up on these Hellbender soft plastics. Really cool bait, great job Mike, they catch fish. So if you don't have one of these in your box, give Mike a holler and get you a couple because they are going to be fish killers. Alright guys, the next baits on the list to show you are a couple glide baits that I've taken a really strong liking to. The first is the Slow Flow glide bait comes in two sizes it's made by Seth Thompson also out of West Virginia a lot of good baits coming out of West Virginia these slow flows come in two different sizes this is the smaller size and this right here is the larger size 
They're both really good sizes to throw, just depending on the day, you're, you might get more action on a large, you might get more action on a smaller one. What's really cool about these baits is the detail that Seth puts into the paint, man. The paint jobs on these gliders are awesome, absolutely awesome, and he picks out some really good patterns, really productive patterns to paint. Um, this, of course, would be the hog sucker, or just sucker color which looks just like the northern hog suckers that the muskies eat here in Virginia. And uh, this pattern here is called the Rotten Nanner, which was a really productive pattern this spring. We caught quite a few nice fish on the Rotten Nanner. Um, Seth also has quite a few other different patterns and like most custom bait makers, you have to get in touch with Seth directly. He doesn't have these baits for sale through any vendor or any website. You have to get on social media, contact Seth Thompson directly if you want to get one. But I highly recommend them. They are quickly becoming one of my favorite glide baits. All right, guys, I showed you some of the baits that I'm going to be packing in the tackle boxes for this fall and winter musky season. Let's go out on the water and I want to show you the action of some of these awesome baits on the table tonight. This next bait is from Ryan Painter. It's called the Catfish Bait. It's a lot like a Bulldog. It's a really heavy, soft plastic pull bait. And the unique thing about these baits is they run really shallow and they have a wicked side-to-side -side roll on them. So I'll show you some video of these baits working in the water.
guys, thanks for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed the content, checking out all these really cool custom baits that these guys are coming out with. Do us a favor and follow the bait makers. Give them a shout if you're interested in getting a bait for yourself. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do so. We'd really appreciate it. Like this video and comment below if you have any questions. Thanks guys and we'll see you on the next one.